Hey guys, it's Jeremy from HowToHockey.com. This video is the beginning of the snapshot challenge, which is basically my uh, case study to see how much I can improve my snapshot in one month before I go to Iceland. So basically what I'm gonna do first is show you the setup that I'm using, and then talk about some different techniques that I'm gonna try each week, and then I'm gonna report back every week and uh, let you guys know how I've been improving, and at the end, very end of the month I'll tell you uh, my improvements and what I think really helped, and that'll help you guys hopefully improve your snapshot or wrist shot as well. So first let's get to the setup that I'm using. So here's my basic setup, nothing too fancy. Whole bunch of hockey pucks and a milk crate to collect them all in. Got roll up shooting pad right here, nice and smooth, protects your stick, gives you a nice smooth surface to uh, shoot off of. Another one right there for when I'm shooting up close to the net. Here's the easy goal. Uh, it's been there for about two years, still holding up nice and strong. Got the targets in the corners in case I want to do some target practice. I should probably realign that one. Uh, chunk of plywood to stop the pucks from going in the yard. Got the backstop here around the easy goal, which works great. Uh, it's been there for about two years as well. I have gotten a few little holes in the met, uh, netting here and there. So what I did is I grabbed uh, some extra netting. It's uh, I think like fishing net. Ordered on Amazon for like 30 bucks or something like that and just threw it over the top. So that works great. And also, right at the very back, I have the radar gun, and that's pretty important if you want to try to improve the power of your shot, because it lets you know what's working and what's not, which uh, leads me to the next thing, which is how I'm going to track my progress and what I'm going to test over the next month. Just thought I'd mention that if you guys want any of those uh, products that I've mentioned in the past clip, I'll share a link in the video description and also a bunch of links on the blog post to each of those products. And I have a coupon code for $10 off if you guys order any of those things from Hockey Shot. So a uh, good place to buy your hockey training aids and you can save 10 bucks. So great deal there. Uh, for what I'm going to be doing for the next month, every week I'm going to be t trying something different to improve my shot. And at the end of the month, I'll let you know let you guys know what worked and what, div what didn't. I'm using the radar gun to see what is working and what isn't working. So for the first week, I'm just going to try different techniques. There's all kinds of different ways you can shoot a puck. You can shoot with it further away from your body, closer into your body, uh, big wind up, little wind up, uh, a lot of snap, you know, twisting your body, getting your legs in there. So I'm going to be trying all these different little uh, tweaks on my shot and seeing what's getting more power, what's getting less power. And I'm going to collaborate all of those things together and uh, try to put them all together to get the most power just by tweaking my technique a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do for the first week. Uh, second week I've got weighted pucks and a weighted hockey stick. I'm going to try that out for a week and uh, mix that up with my regular shooting and see how that works. Every day I'm going to be shooting about 100, 200 pucks. And I think just that alone will help increase the speed of my uh, snapshot and wrist shot. I'm just going to show you my speed right now so you can see, get a feel for how I'm shooting right now and then see if I actually improve after a month. So let's get right to it. All right, got everything set up. I'm gonna do a few wrist shots, so a full wrist shot, and see what my speed is there, and then I'll do a few snap shots. See, make sure this thing's on. 32 miles per hour for just a weak one. Let's see if we can get some juice on there. 51. 56. 47. 54. 48. 51, 50, 46, 53. So there we go. Uh, it seems average around 50. Highest one there was 56. I think uh, probably get that up to about 60 miles per hour, hopefully, by the uh, end of the month. Let's do some snapshots now. First, I'm going to do snapshot shooting from my off foot. See what kind of speed I can get there. It's like a quick release snapper. 47. 47. 52. 50. 39. Must be a mystery. There we go, 52. 48. 48, 52. All right, now I'm gonna take some snapshots, uh, really stepping into it, so shooting from my other foot. Fifty two. Fifty one. Fifty. 
51. Try uh, sucking it in and then shooting. 53, 53, 50, 48, 46. One more. Here, puck. 50. All right. There we go. Seems my uh, shot's around 50 miles per hour. Uh, highest for the full wrist shot. Um, lowest is when I'm shooting up for my off foot. That's probably about 48 mile per hour average there. And uh, when I'm really stepping into it, getting around 50 miles per hour. So uh, let's see how much I can improve that over the next month. Just a quick note, if you guys want to follow along with our wrist shot and snapshot challenge, I suggest that you guys subscribe to our blog. Uh, head over to howtohockey.com. There's a place you can put in your email address and you can subscribe to our newsletter. Uh, I might not put all the videos on YouTube just to avoid those annoying 13 year old kids to say I'm 13 and my wrist shot is like 105 miles per hour. Uh, <laughs> try, I might just make it more for the uh, subscribers at howtohockey.com. So head over to our blog, subscribe and uh, we'll keep up with this challenge, see how I can improve and hopefully you guys can improve as well. If you want to submit your wrist shot videos and snapshot videos as a video response to this, that'd be cool. And I'll take, take a look, maybe give you some uh, tips on how to improve, that sort of thing. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching the videos and subscribe to our blog.